Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another Dark Avenger comic book recap. We're in a different location. We decided we missed the indie review location. We also want to go back to the other location where we record from time to time. So we're going to be fluctuating between these three revenues. We've got Comic Book Corner here. You guys know when we review in our kitchen we have that big setup that takes us a while to set up. And then we go into a different apartment and we record in another side room. But beside the point, we miss doing all the different venues, so from time to time we'll fluctuate where the comic book recap is going to be. So anyway, let's get on with the books this week. we got a nice amount of books this week. The books that we are going to be recapping were released on the week of... September 30th, 2015, the last week of September. And Mike's behind the camera for the one reason we all know, indie, I mean digital books, first. Yes, so first let's start off with Archie issue number three. Excellent read. I'm loving this series. I'm excited to see where Jughead issue one is going to go next week. Okay. Uh, Aliens vs. Zombies issue number three. Really good also. I'm really enjoying it out of Xenoscope right now. Godzilla and Hell issue number... Hold on, let me check. Three. Yeah, three. I am really enjoying it. The artwork's great. Dialogue is very short in this book. If you want to see angels with butterfly wings, this is definitely a book to check out. If you love kaiju fights, this book is for you. Loved it. Okay. Uh, Conan the Avenger, issue number 18. Uh, I felt this book was really good. Uh, Conan was in a really intense uh, fight battle, and I really enjoyed uh, the battle. And The artwork was a little bit sketchy, but okay story and all. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales 2015 Halloween Special. This book was really amazing. I agree. I like it. It does book. focus on Sela Matters along with, uh, oh, what was her name? Uh, the one that had the powers also with Sela. Skylar? No, 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 no. I can't remember what her name was. Left me. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, this was a really great book, uh, and I definitely enjoy the Halloween specials each and every year and each and every time I read it. All right, now we're in the annuals. Batman Arkham Knight, annual issue number one. This was a good read. If you're a fan of the Arkham Knight series, uh, comic book or game-wise, this is definitely something I would recommend checking out. little sketchy artwork, but still very good. Green Lantern annual, issue number four. This one, uh, it's up to you guys. It's, n in my opinion, not that important. The artwork's very different from what we are used to in the regular series, I leave that book up to you guys. Can't recommend or not recommend it. Batman Annual Issue number 4. I liked it. It was a nice read. A bit sketchy at times with the artwork, but the story itself was really good. I enjoyed it. Okay, and last, yeah. Uh, Grayson Annual Issue number 2. This is the annual I recommend everybody check out this week. If you're a Superman fan, if you're a Dick Grayson fan, this was a really good read. I liked it. I really want to get a physical copy of this book. Probably get it next week uh, just to own a physical copy. It was really, really good. The artwork was solid. Story was solid. You can come start sitting down. Okay, I, was I really enjoyed it. And okay. now we go into some physical books. I'll start off because I believe I have two more than you this week. And that's because I have two I physical. Got four. I know, but physical. I have two physical and indie books this week. That's why. Go ahead. Take it away. Spawn 256. Love the artwork in the book. I love the story in the book. I'm glad Al's back. If you're a Spawn fan, and I mean old school Spawn fan, you're going to love this issue. Because not only is Al back now, but Clown also makes an appearance in this book. And it was really good. My favorite book out of Grim Fairy Tales, and probably my top pick of the indies this week, goes to Grim Fairy Tales issue 114. Pat Chan is knocking this book so far out of the park. It's a home run that's gone into the parking lot and has broken through the back parked car's window. All the way in back of the parking lot. I'm loving the series. Great artwork, great story. If you're a fan of Grim Fairy Tales, you will love where Pat's going with this book. Okay. From Valiant, Book of Death, The Fall of Harbinger, One Shot. I'm really liking these one shots that are coming out. I didn't really know a lot about Harbinger, only just a little bit, because Unity I've been reading about, you know, and I really didn't um, pick up Harbinger as much. But it was a really interesting read, uh, definitely uh, something to check out. Not much of death, really. I mean, just in the end, Peter Sanchik died, but then it shows 10 years into the future of uh, what to expect next. But uh, really great stuff. I really enjoy it. X-Men 92, issue number 4. Really happy to hear that this is coming back after Secret Wars. Great read. Hopefully the book will go down to 399 when All New All Different takes this book over. 
If you enjoyed it, whether it be digitally or physically, good story, good artwork, definitely reminiscent of the 90s. Hail Hydra, issue number three from Marvel. Just to say, like, this was a great story. Uh, Ian's trying to make uh, his sister Ellie stronger against uh, the whole parents thing of what happened. But uh, Zula takes over a lot in this book, but really great stuff. And artwork's amazing, too, in this book. Superman 44. John Romita Jr.'s artwork, I'm getting scared. I think I'm getting used to it. Uh, story, however, I'm, I'm still not into this whole where they're taking Superman right now. This story takes place in the past. So it's like a setup story for what's happening right now in the other Superman books. I want this to be over so we can get into the next series where Superman will actually get back to normal, hopefully. And that's really all I could say with that book. I can't recommend or not recommend it. I'm just leaving it out there. Inferno Wish number 5, the last issue of this Marvel comic book. And let me tell you, this was really action-packed amazing. We had Colossus against his sister Ileana. And, of course, Maddie becomes queen because she got thrown. Dethrone, we didn't see that come, but really great. Definitely check all the issues out on trade paperback whenever that comes out. Captain America White number two. I feel like I read through this book in less than ten minutes. It literally is one, two, three, four scenes, four different places, and it reads so quickly. It feels like the thinnest book of the week, and the artwork's gorgeous, the story's really good, but it just felt very short. I don't know if I just read it fast, or if it just was a very short issue this this week. But man, it was short. And my book But good. I recommend it, but short. And my book of the week goes to IDW's Ghostbusters Get Real, issue number four. The last issue, sadly, to the, get, uh, the real Ghostbusters thing, where both the Ghostbusters, both Ghostbusters and real Ghostbusters, face off against Protoss. I am looking forward to the November annual of Ghostbusters that will be coming out. So uh, That was what was revealed in the book, yep. So hopefully there will be high hopes for more Ghostbusters, but this is Book of the Week. Definitely, if there is a trade paperback, it is a sellout. This is amazing. Definitely must get hands down. And my Book of the Week from the Big Two, right next to Grim Fairy Tales 114, has to go to Just Sleep 44. Excellent artwork, awesome story, lots going on but very well contained in this book. There's a lot of things going on in a lot of different places. It all reads out so perfectly, though. Jeff Johns is doing an awesome job with this Dark Side Wars. This definitely feels like an event, even though it's not. My one drawback with this, and it's not with this book specifically, it's with the six one-shots that will be connected to the series, making it basically feel like an event book. Also, the Superman costume here looks like it's a mix between the old and the new which I really like, and I'm really loving Justice League. This book, I highly recommend checking out this week. Out of all the big two books, this is definitely something that you need to have on in your pile. And with that, this was the last short week, guys. Starting, this is the end of week 309. We are officially done with week 309 now. Starting next week, week 310, the all-new, all-different Marvel begins, as well as the new series, I believe there's six, uh, begin from DC Comics. Now, when it comes to DC Comics, I'm only grabbing, I think, one or two. But with Marvel, basically the entire Marvel line is starting up again. Mike and I are going to be trying a lot of number ones, both digitally and physically, uh, depending on money, because uh, to our knowledge, a lot of the stuff is cheaper online uh, through Comixology or whatnot. So either we'll be checking them out digitally or physically. We're going to try to get as many physical books as we can uh, but understand that money is tight, so we have to budget and do uh, money-wise of what's in our best interest. But starting next week, 310, big books are coming. It's going to be a roller coaster ride from now until next year, starting now. Because starting in October, going all the way through to December, we've got a lot of number ones. A lot. From Marvel especially. Well, basically only Marvel. So, we've got a lot of new things coming to you guys' way. Hopefully, you'll stick around. We will be covering as much as we can on this channel. And I know on Comic Frontline, we're going to be trying to cover exactly the same thing. We're going to be trying to cover, if not most all, of the all-new, all-different Marvel uh, books that are coming out. So, keep an eye out on this channel for reviews. Keep an eye out on Comic Frontline for reviews from myself, Mike, and everybody on Frontline. Everybody's coming front and center for this event which is going to basically bring us into 2016 and maybe beyond that. But yes, 
I'm very excited starting week 310. Now remember, next week's reviews and the recap, as a matter of fact, might be a little late. And that's due to the fact that we will be at New York Comic Con all weekend. And I will be going in a mere two days, um, Thursday and Friday as well. Yeah, I'll be there Saturday and Sunday. So uh, we're going to be very busy at the end uh, of this week and on the weekend. So apologies if next week's reviews are late. We will try to get at least the all-new, all-different Marvel books up as soon as we can. And as soon as we get the the um, well, as soon as we get the chance to read our digital books, we'll try to get those up ASAP. I will be doing an intro video, uh, if not uh, tomorrow night after Frontline Live, maybe even before uh, Frontline Live, which will be at 9:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is going to be a pre-show. It's going to be a special pre-show. Uh, keep an eye out. 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'll probably still be at work, so I'll be at the live thing. Right. So look forward to a really special pre-show this week and on Frontline, and then a really great Frontline Live episode 78, I think we're up to now. No, 77. It is 77? Okay, yeah, I, I, 77. 77. Yeah. All right, guys, wasted enough of your time here. Yep. Let us know what you thought about the books here. Did we miss something? Is there something you would like to add or agree or disagree with us? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, there's a bunch of links to ComicFrontline.com, Zone4Podcast.com, and the Under Construction and Building Up Slowly Frontline Gaming Zone. Also, there are links to sites connected to the channel that you are on right now, right here, Dark Avengers C86. Uh, stay tuned for a huge update about the blogger. It will be up in a couple of weeks. Uh, probably the week after New York Comic Con, if not the week, definitely the week right after that. Uh, it's going to be very important and it involves the videos on this channel. It does impact this channel. I would recommend you highly check out it. I'm going to make it as short as I can so this way everybody can check it out and it won't be like a 20, 30 minute video. It'll be, I'll try to condense it down to about 5 to 10 minutes so you guys will get the point, know what's going on. But it is a major update for this channel and it's, it, it, the blogger is definitely going to impact this channel. Let's leave it at that right now. Uh, so until then, guys, thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed week 309. Week 309 is gone. Now yep. we go on to week 310. Yep. Only <laughs> only 90 more weeks until 400. Yeah, well, you never know what could happen soon. So until then, guys, take care, keep reading, keep collecting. We will see you guys really soon in the next video. And this is the Later part where you have to get up. Right. It is 4 in the morning. It is 4 in the morning. It is. It's almost 4.30 in the morning. Really, i got to get some sleep. You do. <laughs> Ugh. While you're getting some sleep, you can hit that camera. Take care, everybody. See you guys tomorrow.